Hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer neuen Folge Life is Strange, denn gerade frisch rausgekommen, Episode 4, Dark Room. Und ohne lange rum zu reden, starten wir einfach mal direkt die Episode. Ich bin so gespannt, wie es weitergeht jetzt. Soll ja der Teil sein, wo bis jetzt am meisten auch die Entwickler geweint haben beim Erstellen. Previously on Life is Strange. Wow. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield, hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Ja, eine ganze Menge hat sich verändert. Jetzt wird sich zeigen, was sich noch alles so geändert hat. Man hat ja ein bisschen unsere Entscheidungen gesehen, die wir getroffen haben. Nicht immer die besten. Ja, Chloe ist dadurch bestimmt vor dem einen oder anderen geschützt worden. again I know I'm glad we are though it was nice that you sent me actual letters it's more than any of my other friends have done and you even wrote on that cool parchment paper it's so max so pretentious but I love writing on it like an English poet you deserve the best stationery 
probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. So, und jetzt sind wir quasi an der an Arcadia Bay, wo sich auch jetzt schon jede Menge verändert hat. Also die Wale und alles und jetzt diese ganze Vergangenheitssache. Hm. Sollen wir über den Unfall reden oder den Vater verurteilen? Den Vater würde ich nicht verurteilen, der kann ja nichts dafür. Nee. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Schon krass, was sich da auch alles verändert hat bei den anderen. Mm. Um. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? Oh, I'm such a different world than when we were mm. kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. And dennoch is Rachel auch hier verschollen. Also, aus welchem Grund auch immer hier es ist. Hat eben eine ganz andere Wendung genommen durch diesen Unfall. Hmm. Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Think that echt schon echt. Ähm, tragisch eigentlich an die ganze ja. Sache. Genauso tragisch wie die letzte Episode geendet hat. Und obwohl die Zeit jetzt eine andere ist, wird da alles doch schlimmer. Es zeigt sich dieser Sturm immer noch an. Pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. 
Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Oh man, that's echt aus. <lacht> Make a wish. Ist das nicht diese Organisation in, ähm, in Amerika, wo du... Ich wollte gerade sagen, wem hilft man denn damit nochmal? Ist ja irgendwas mit Kindern, oder? Was, genau, waren das ja. Leukämie-kranke Kinder? Ich glaube, das ist generell Leute, die Hilfe brauchen. Ich sollte Make-up on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. <laughs> yeah. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. <laughs> es gibt ein, um, ein Chatroom für Leute im Rollstuhl, wo sie drin ist. Sie aussieht, heißt sie Miss Blue. Mm. Ist ja auch schon mal ganz gut, wenn man sich mit den anderen austauschen kann. There's the old Chloe. Uh, ah, hier ist, hier ist Wasser. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. Um. What do you remember about us as kids? We all have. Vielleicht bekommen wir so ein bisschen was raus I noch, so, was pirates, sich verändert hat. Running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. Uh, yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Ja, sie ist halt schon echt fertig, das merkt man ganz klar. Ja, ja sie ist halt im Endeffekt, ist sie... Gefesselt. Sie kriegt halt jetzt das Ganze, was die andere, wo es den anderen jetzt in dieser Realität besser geht, geht es ihr halt deutlich schlechter, weil sie ja. jetzt alles abbekommen hat. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. Oh je. Yeah. Ich glaube, wir sollten nicht unbedingt nach dem Geld fragen. Ich denke mal, dass er. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. You are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. 
It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. <lacht> yeah, natürlich. Um, so diese kleinen Anspielungen. Sie würde mit blauen Haaren natürlich gut aussehen. Das heißt, sollen wir jetzt Blade Runner suchen? Um, Teddybär. Hört hier unten drin? Oh my god. Oh. I made that mix for her when we were 12. <lacht> Eine ganze Menge Sachen drin. Aber das sind alles CDs. Aber die hat echt gut Auswahl. Da. Ah, here's the DVD. So. Und äh, so. Blade Runner, echt, echter Klassiker. So, aber mit dem neuen Tag machen wir auch erstmal einen Break und sehen uns dann hier beim nächsten Mal wieder und schauen mal, ob wir das alles wieder auf die Reihe kriegen. Also dann, ciao, ciao. Mach's gut.